New at 10 tonight, Huntsville became the first city in the country to create a music advisory board to improve music culture here. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Naja Sherman. The Huntsville City Council unanimously approved the board, but not without some concerns. Way 31 Stephen Dulcizian joins us live now to explain the situation and what's next. Stephen. Yeah, guys, the board will be made up of nine members of the community. Each will serve some tenures of two years long, but we won't know who exactly will be on that board until sometime next year. But before approving the creation of this brand new board, almost every city council member wanted to make sure diversity was at the forefront of this board. It's something that we've been working on for a long time, and having a music board, now we have to get the right people on the board. It's been almost a year in the making. All those favor sitting five by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Who cares? The city of Huntsville spent $150,000 on a music audit study in 2018. The study says Huntsville needs a stronger music scene with more events and local musicians. It recommended creating a music advisory board to help. They'll represent the idea of the, of the performers, the artists, the people who promote, uh, the people who actually have the buildings and, and the whole community too. With a $40 million amphitheater on the way and expansion at the Von Brown Center, the city says they must grow their music footprint. Council President Devin Keith wants to make sure the board's focus stays local. Do you draw out? Talent from outside more than you do helping the talent that's within. Uh, I think the state of the city shows example that we have great talent within. Battle says growing the music industry ultimately grows Huntsville. It's something that brings people to the area, makes them want to be part of Huntsville. As they're part of Huntsville, um, they, they become part of our employment scene and they become part of a, a part of our whole economy. Now, city officials say they've gotten more than 50 people applying to try and be one of these board members, and they still expect many more to. They say even though they're only picking nine members, some people that aren't selected to be on the board can still be part of a subcommittee, so they're still involved. Once this board is eventually made up and starts running, well, they'll meet once at least every 90 days. Reporting live in Huntsville, Stephen Dilsizian, Way 31 News.